This magical place is called a cenote. It's basically a sinkhole that's full of water. These cenotes in the Yucatan Peninsula are eroded into limestone of Pliocene age. So what that says is that during the Pliocene, sea level was higher and it was depositing limestone all over this whole region. And then during the Pleistocene and the Holocene, sea level was lower and uh, that allowed rainwater to percolate down through the limestone and dissolve out these caves. And when the cave became too big, it couldn't support its roof, and then that would collapse down and it would create an opening to the, uh, the surface. So that's like what we would call a sinkhole back in uh, Virginia, but here they're flooded by um, fresh water, and so they're called cenotes. Um, they are all over the place here. There are thousands and thousands of them, and um, many of them have really cool features that we associate with other um, areas where we have karst topography. So things like stalactites and stalagmites and other uh, speleothems. Here are some stalactites, for instance, over here behind me. So this is um, active deposition of travertine, even in this modern cenote setting, because there's still limestone above that can be dissolved by rainwater. And then that dissolved calcite is carried in solution down here and re-precipitated to make these sorts of structures. This cenote used to be a cave. Then the roof of that cave collapsed and it was open to the air and then it uh, was submerged by rising aquifer levels. And to get a better understanding of that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the cave and uh, swim through a section of the cave to get a better handle on how the changing levels of the water have been recorded in various structures. All right, so inside the cave system that feeds the cenote, there's lots of interesting things to see. So for instance, if you look here behind me, you can see some of these Pliocene corals cropping out inside the cave. So these are corals that were alive more than three million years ago, and we're being, um, uh, we're doing what corals do today, you know, photosynthesizing, eating in the shallow waters of the Caribbean when the Caribbean covered the Yucatan Peninsula. And um, then during the Pleistocene, sea levels got lower, and rain fell on the, uh, the exposed limestone, and it opened up these cave systems, exploiting fractures and um, widening those fractures and redepositing material. So I don't know if you can see this over here, but I'm shining my light on a series of completely submerged stalactites. These are stalactites that would have formed on the ceiling of the cave when it was uh, open air and there was water dripping down into that open air, but now it's been flooded since that time. Um, the water that flows through this uh, cave system um, will uh, travel underground and it can emerge in unexpected places including all the way out um, under sea level. So there are places that where you can go offshore where you can see fresh water bubbling up underneath the sea.